And welcome back to game two of the St. Clair College versus Carleton University. Game two, we're going to be going into split here. We've seen this map from before from St. Clair. Much tighter game on this map uh, when they were playing a couple series ago. I know. Uh, so we're going to see it. how they're going to play here. We're seeing that same comp too. They're going to have the Sage and the Rays this time. Trading out their Jet and their Sova. Um, enemy team actually going to be picking up a Viper as well. Uh, other than that, same comp as St. Clair. But yeah, trading that Sky for the Viper this game. Yeah, they realized that they needed like maybe like two healers to, just to help them out. Like for example, Sky. Sky can heal everyone apart apart from themselves. Sage Sage can heal everyone, even including herself, and she can also res people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's also definitely got that stalling ability on split. You know, a slow orb will shut down an entire corridor on this map. A wall mid is like the classic default. We're most likely gonna see it right now. He's gonna throw the bomb buddy down and uh, maybe see the wall. Casper able to pick up the first kill on this A side. It looks like that they're going A side. Maybe going up on Haven. It looks like that they're going up the ramp, going up up there. And, uh, looks like that they're all rotating apart from KJ. KJ is like, no, I'll wait just in case. It's just a fake, you know. It's right now five v four. Yeah, so essentially a 4v4 on this A side, although JRC moving back to B side, even though we haven't really seen Carlton move away, although they aren't really tossing in any more utility, but we are hearing shots. Viper wall going to go down, cover their cross. They could have moved up ramp now. Yeah, they, they very well could have. They're just scared to keep them just because in case of anything that happens, it looks like that there still is someone there. Looks like that they could be rotating off, but right now St. Clair's, uh, they're okay, holding off. The Killjoy and the Rays are upper ramps there. We saw the turret come down. Wombat knows that too. He's going to be jumping up and down on this rope, hitting the right clicks. Unfortunately, not able to take anyone out, although JRC going to take out Danny with his ghost here. Also going to find moves. And Casper, Casper and Blossom going to clean up the last two for a flawless pistol round from St. Clair. Yeah, I've heard many people say that this uh, this map is more of a defensive defensive side. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Especially with these these tight corridors, like you said, and, and uh, St. Clair's comp specifically, you know, they're able to flash multiple players, uh, stall multiple players with these walls and these slow orbs. Um, and the mollies as well from Killjoy just make them that much more lethal on a map like this. It looks like that uh, St. Clair is going to be half buying uh, while maybe the other team is not because they don't have a lot of money. Yeah, maybe they want to save. It, looks like, it sounds like they're going to save. Yeah, I hear some classics, so it could be a full slave save on the side of Carlton. Uh, Casper able to take out Jackler for the starting. I think he spotted more mid as well. We know there's a few A main. Blossom checking these corners quickly. It looks like they might be rotating. JRC was able to find another one mid. It looks like the rest of Carlton's players might just be grouping up around mid. Sapper's gonna come out. Yeah, it's a 5v3 right now with uh, Sky being about half HP. Well, I'm pretty sure that their Sage is also near half HP. Maybe she healed. Yeah, could have used her heal on that unless you wanted to use it for another teammate. Vcan trading shots here in garage with the enemy Ray's gonna be able to take him out in the end. 59 health remaining on Vcan. 5v2. St. Clair, they've got the upper hand. Yeah, it's always nice also to have the upper hand. Especially now that they're all spread out. So no matter what, it's gonna be like a 1v2, maybe 2v2. Who's not? Oh, Flawless. Blossom well, gets double headshot on those two players and yeah. takes the round for themselves to St. Clair's uh, two up. Yeah, Blossom was playing real relaxed there on A main. He knew they were going to be rotating around at some point, you know. He was just waiting there, waiting for his prime opportunity. And there he is, able to pick up the 2K. Although, we're going to keep seeing Spectres here. They don't have the money to upgrade. Uh, and the enemy team going to be their first rifle round. So let's see what they can pull off here. Maybe make it 2-1 to Carlton. Yeah, it looks like that there's going to be 1B, uh, Ash on A, and Sky on A. And uh, looks like they're going to be pushing mid, hard pushing mid. 
Yeah, same setup mid here. We saw the boombox come out. It got immediately taken out. And the wall also immediately. Two chunks of it taken out. Danny going to be able to find Wombat mid. Oh, this is going to be... Oh, 3v5 right now. With uh, JRC low on 10 HP. He's looking for that heal. But none of his teammates are healers right now. They're all dead. Yeah, he's going to be pushed back towards this uh, hall side on B site. And we've got Blossom here, stuck on A alone, unable to win the gunfight. Move's gonna take out Blossom. It's an assist from two of his teammates. Spike planted. Yeah, and he also like d dinked race for so much, but they also have a healer, so they probably will heal their um, Sage right now. Uh, it's a 2v5 for 2v4. Danny able to find a 3k that round by creeping in the corner. He's able to pick off the last two. Uh, two one. St. Clair College still in the lead. Uh, definitely we're gonna see them on a full buy now. So, you know, maybe they'll the the weaponry won't be as much of a disadvantage. They won't be having to play so close this round. Uh, yeah, we've seen also this in the uh, last game. St. Clair was also like up like the first half, but the second half, Carlton just took that out of their hands. They're like, no. Yeah, yeah, we definitely did see this before. Uh, St. Clair, starting on the defense, also going to be nice for them. However, we're going to see the same setup mid here. They're most likely going to be pulling this out every round. It, it's a pretty solid strategy. It puts some stall mid, puts some pressure mid. Uh, doesn't really give them any space um, without using too much resources. It's only really two abilities. So, uh, Blossom just spamming through this Viper wall. Casper sitting top ramp here again. He's just waiting for someone to peek or to go, and he's just gonna uh, get him caught off guard. Uh, looks like that we still we still have all of our team spread out. Maybe maybe their team will maybe go through mid to uh, ropes. Oh, they're pushing A. Jockoff takes out Casper with the Phantom. Wombat well, gonna be sitting up here in heaven, not gonna see anyone. Blossom once again holding this tight tight angle on A. JRC. And Vcan moving towards heaven. A uh, couple players from Carlton possibly moved up off of that Viper wall. Astro Star's coming out in heaven. We know they're making some kind of push towards A using this utility, although Mailroom also smoked off. Left. They also have 30 seconds. They m it looks like that they pinged also B. Maybe they might be going B. Yeah, it sounds like a oh, it sounds like an A push. Blossom able to find one. Riv season gonna take Spike him out. V can't take it out. Riv season on the, in the process. We're gonna see V can slowly peeking these angles. Oh, he spotted one on Rafters. Was reloading, unfortunately. Gonna toss the swarm grenade down. Catch him in a corner, hopefully. They're also gonna be elbow, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, they're elbow. They're just holding those tight angles. They're like, no, you're not gonna come through. You're not gonna defuse this bomb. <laughs> Vcan able to find a nice swing onto Rubsy there. Uh, we're gonna see what he can do with this Vandal. Misses the headshot. Danny able to take him out with just some body shots. And that is gonna be 2-2 in the second game here. Yeah, with, uh, what's it called? Our Sky now has uh, their ult and their KJ has their ult. So, 1-1. One, one. We'll see. We'll see what comes up next. Yeah, uh, I want to say Killjoy Alt is a little more valuable than Sky Alt, although Sky also gives that intel on exactly where they are. Um, but on the attacking side, we might see this Killjoy Alt just come out immediately. Like Saint Clair on a very heavy save here, and Carlton's got all the money in the world, so we could see a very aggressive round here from Carlton. Recovering it. Yeah, it looks like they might be pushing A. With uh, Sage using that wall to their advantage, not only defensive, but offensive too. Yeah, we see at least two players A there. That's a very different wall than we've seen from Wombat the rest of the game. Um, he's still just tossing slow orbs. Able to catch two A main, three with the Deagle. Oh, turning this round around. Unable to catch that. Rubski picks up two, evens the, almost evens the round out. Only one player up. JRC catches Jacklorf on site. It looks like Viper might be under hell right now. Could be hiding hell there. Blossom able to see him. Hits him with the headshot. That was five, all five deagle kills that round. Great to see from St. Clair. Able to, <laughs> able to pick up one like a save round. 
that seemed almost hopeless. Uh, uh, in pre-round, it seemed almost hopeless. I mean, Carlton was sitting there 7K on almost all of their players, but that Sheriff, you know, we're seeing why it's the eco gun. Um, full buys coming out here most likely from both teams. Yeah, they're probably going to both teams see it. Also, um, Viper and KJ, now they have both of their alts. And uh, our Sky and our Astra, that'd be interesting. With like the wall being set up in a specific yeah. way and using that alt to your advantage, you know? Yeah, wall being broken down B Garage. We're going to see Wombat seems to just be jiggling this. But all the Killjoy utility is set up right in front of where Carlton wants to funnel in from Garage. <sighs> You got double molly set up there, an alarm bot. That's that's lethal if they walk into it. You are divided. Astra uses their alt. Yeah, the the viper actually also able to pick up an alt orb and get the the viper pit online. So we could be seeing that. V can't able to take out Jackalor. Rubs gonna take out JRC. We're back to four v four. An <laughs> another one v one trades for the team. Wombat given the numbers advantage by taking out Danny. Yeah, right now it's a three. It's a two v two. Rubski kills uh, V can, and also they, like I said, they also have their alt, so Last they might be using standing. it. It's a one v two right now with uh, Sage killing uh, Balsam, and Rubski with the three K gets a headshot on Wombat. Yeah, great rally there from the Carlton players right after the start. I mean, we were seeing one for one for one, and then Rubski coming around these angles, catching the St. Clair players off guard. He's killing them from behind. Like, they're not even, it's not even a fair gunfight because his game sense is just so there that he's always in these off angles that St. Clair is not even, like, turning to. Yeah, it looks like that St. Clair is also going to go on a save. So far, all of their saves, they have been able to pull something off from either yeah. just killing the, the whole other team or getting assists and getting, yeah. killing like three people. Yeah, two judges here coming out from St. Clair. So they're going to be holding really tight angles here, most likely. Casper also with a marshal. He spotted one, going to spam through that Viper smoke. Unfortunately, he doesn't catch anything. Wombat just getting sprayed through the box. Riv season knew he was there. JRC here with the judge. This could be magic if they if they all file into mailroom here. I mean, the judge is gonna put in work. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Especially not that they're equal three to three with moves killing Casper. Now it's a three v five. Can uh, can Saint Clair pull this off? Yeah, it looks like Carlton is gonna most likely moving through vents there. Uh, they did get that pick on JRC. Or not on JRC, on uh, Casper there. JRC stuck here with the Judge on retake Spike against planted. all five. This wide open sight. You gotta just slowly move around here. Danny gonna be able to pick up the headshot on ramp there. 4 3 for Carlton University. Also, their stage used their ult that round on Danny actually. Oh. And it was able to get it to get that. Now they might be able to full buy. It looks like it. Yeah, looks so both teams. St. Clair up on the alt economy here. Um, similar ecos on both sides. Um, so we're going to see what's going on here. Skylt is not up. Uh, so they're losing kind of that valuable intel that you get off of that. Um, however, and Wombat, he, he's going to be placing this wall here. But if he gets taken out early, they're also losing their res. Uh, which could be a deficit. Ooh, gets a headshot. Wombat with the headshot, but it was through the wall, so it didn't yeah, do as much damage as you'd like it to. He's got a little, little tiny angle here to peek through. Um, Wombat, he could just be playing for intel. The rest of St. Clair kind of filing up towards mid other than Vcan here, just holding his place on the site. Um, we're going to see uh, Astra and Rave coming out to Garage. Moon's going to take out Wombat. Unfortunately, JRC's alt's not able to catch anyone. Moon's going to take him out as well. Casper able to trade their Sage out. Yeah, that's a 3v4 three, three right now. Looks like they might be rotating to mid to go. Oh, no, they're actually they, they're on site. And someone's just uh, baiting mid, I believe. They use their alt right where the default bomb should be. It's a 3v3 right now with uh, them using uh, their KJ alt. It's a 2v3 right now with uh, Carlton leading Spike with one planted. round. Vcan gonna push in here off of CT. The smoke's gonna come down, but it's, he's gonna be using his lockdown. 
pushing all players out towards either Heaven or B Garage. Molly's coming down. He's unable to push through his here. Oh, he is going to push through. He's going to take a little bit of damage in the process. Doesn't matter to him. Rubski going to take him out. Blossom able to take out Rubski, but Danny's going to come in from mid and take out Blossom. I'm pretty sure it was the guy that was mid that they were trying to hold him off. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Yeah, we saw Casper spamming through that smoke there trying to hit him as he caught a glimpse of him. But uh, unfortunately, Casper was taken out. Uh, another save round here from St. Clair. We're seeing three Deagles, four Deagles come on. A Judge. Uh, I... I want to say they're in they're in a worse spot here, but I mean we've seen them on the eco rounds. They they definitely can do work on these eco rounds, uh, even more so than some of their gun rounds. So let's see what we got here, Casper, gonna be using his intel down a main here. Sees two actually. It looks like they Whoa, might be cool. rotating to mid through sewers because uh, it looked like that KJ was going to the sewers area, just making sure that they maybe rotate in time or not. But it looks like that only Sage is gonna stay on B and uh, and Raze is gonna stay mid, and the rest I might be going. Oh, two pushing on Casper A main there. Rubski gonna pick up the kill. Oh, we see. Oh, all four enemies on site. Rubski able to just get the wall bang on Vcan through the screen there. Oh, it's two players left for Saint Clair. Blossom already taken some damage. Last player standing. Moves taken out JRC. They're also up by two rounds, and uh, I heard that it was better to die to the bomb because you also save eco, and uh, and they won't get the kill. So that isn't true. Um, I don't believe. I mean, Carlson, they've got the money advantage at this point. They don't really need the kill. They just wanna. They just don't want him to save this deagle. They're just spamming every angle. Oh, hit a headshot. Able to take out Rim Season. Blossom with another one on Danny. Jack Lorf gonna take him out. He was already pretty low health. It is what it is. Um, and he, and he, great shots there by uh, by Blossom. He's a, he's able to make two of them at least lose their guns coming into this next round. Although they're gonna be able to just buy it right back. Yeah, and he also just uh, had the sheriff while they had like uh, fully automatic weapons. So well, it was pretty difficult for him to pull it off, especially getting two kills with just a deagle. Getting that two that, that two headshots, you know? Yeah. It must have Guys, been like difficult. Yeah, yeah. Definitely a show of skill here from Blossom. And we're gonna see this wall come out a main this time. See, I like how Wombat is going to different parts of the map, right? He's not just putting this wall mid every round like he was at the starting. Kind of varying it up, right? Sometimes uh doesn't look we're gonna see one player uh enemies Viper. Ooh, moves taking out Wombat on A main. Yeah, it looks like that they're they might be yeah they're they're rotated from mid to a now they're probably on a site just waiting for a chance to just get a kill and plant the spike. It's a four v five right now with um, Carlton leading by three games. Also, their viper still has their all. Yeah, Saint Clair. We're gonna see all four of them kind of rotate around towards this B side. Casper hears the enemy team rotating. Casper on this flank again. We've seen him on this flank before. We know he loves this flank. How much can he get off of it? He gets one. Danny, unfortunately, they all turned around just in time. He would have been able to get way more there. Yeah, that's just unfortunate. At least he got one kill. You know, just take one of them out. Make it easy for the rest of the team, especially if they're a support character. Now it's a 1v4 with mobs getting a 3k with double headshot. It looks like they're going to be going A, planning A, probably. Blossom stuck in vents here. They may not know where he is, but they have an idea. They were tossing nades down vents. They know he was somewhere around this mid side of the map. Oh, and the plan is actually going to come out on B, I believe. Ten seconds Blossom left. gets a headshot Five on Raze. It looks like that they're going to probably. They have an idea now where he is. So they know exactly where he is. Again, with like having like being invulnerable to a bunch of uh, positions, you know? Like, someone can just be behind you right now. Yeah. Yeah, he's in a 3v1. He's going to be creeping up screw through screens here. Danny going to be able to find the wall bang headshot on Blossom. I mean, he's Danny has been on point today. This You're player here. has been You're dropping headshot after headshot. He is ruthless with the Vandal. Even this game, we saw him in the Sova, a more aggressive character 
than than Killjoy. And even in this Killjoy game, we're seeing him go nine and six. I mean, a beautiful show from him here. Rubski this game also in these in these angles that St. Clair just isn't ready for. Um, and of course, on the side of St. Clair, we're seeing Blossom and V can really find their own here. It looks like that they're probably going on another save round. And so far, I, I, they should just go on save rounds from now on. I mean, <laughs> they've been doing so good with save rounds. <laughs> yeah, force the Deagle every round, you know, make your eco rating look good in the post game stats. Uh, we're going to see some rotations coming out. JRC moving Pulling off of heaven, in. although he's going to pull back up. Blossom and Vcan dealing with some pressure here. A, shots coming through. Blossom able to find one, unable to find the second as Danny takes him out. Vcan going to take out the enemy Rays. Riv season trading him out in the process. And J it's just up to JRC and Wombat here. Casper unfortunately taken out by Danny. Right now it's a 2v3. With uh, one probably going up ramps, JRC is looking for that one kill, just making sure that he gets it. He's going to be taken by the turret. Looks like they walled screens off. So it's going to be very difficult for Wombat to just go over it. Ooh, they just Wombat. peek that one small area and just gets a headshot. Sage kills the Sage. Oh, JRC able to pick up the kill on Riv Season there. Danny going to pick up the third kill on him. He was low. You know, Last he, he kind of just hand. YOLO'd in there. He's, he, he, <laughs> it is what it is. Now we're going to be on a full buy for St. Clair on this last round of the half. Uh, not not the greatest half you want to see for St. Clair. They did start on defense. We know they're not super strong on defense in comparison to their offense. As we see, like, you know, we're seeing Blossom again on defense. He, he's really been the star of defense for this team during this entire game today. Yeah, I believe in preseason games, uh, St. Clair uh was i believe down three to nine and they were able to catch up on the second half so maybe we'll see that again yeah Soon yeah win. on attack i mean if they could make it eight four here great start to the half for them we know they love attack we know they're aggressive on attack uh but carlton showing the same carlton loves to play aggressive here they love sending all five people to a site you should run. But we'll see enemy killjoy gonna come down jrc Holding this angle, four players. We're gonna see Wombat in screens here. All of them are gonna have to move out from this Killjoy ult. VK might get hit by it. Oh, he's able to get out just in time. Wombat, unfortunately, not able to get out just in time. VK trades out, moves it, tries to pick up the kill on Wombat there. Sky ult coming out. Ult flash. Danny able to take out VK though. Immediate res from Wombat. Oh, Vikan dies as soon as he's res because he, he he knew where he was. Get an idea. It's a one before right now, and Jack Sage Lord dies. Jackoff three. gets three kills right now with a headshot. Switching sides. Yeah, so we're switching sides here. Uh, we know this is St. Clair's more comfortable side, um, especially you know this comp. They've got the they've got the Rays who can do a lot on defense, but I mean she really shines on offense when she can play aggressively. Um, and then, of course, we're seeing the flashes from Casper here. Uh, now the only problem is Carlton's got this Viper. That kind of forces them. They can't just push through the wall, right? They're going to be losing a lot of health just walking through that wall from the Decay. Um, so they can't be super aggressive here. They are going to have to most likely wait out a bit of utility before they can go in. Um, however, we're only seeing three on the A main here and then two go mid. Wombat and Blossom mid. Yeah, it looks like they're going to be attacking uh, the objective from the two different ways, like you mentioned. Uh, JRC knows that uh, there is uh, the character behind um, the A shoulder wall, uh, area. They also know that there's someone probably heaven. There is. Yeah, they were taking some shots heaven. As you can see, JRC is at 70 health, as well as VCAN also took a little bit. Wombat going to take a little bit of damage as he tries to peek past the site here. They know one's on site. They know one's playing heaven at least. The question is, where's the rest of them? JRC able to peek onto moves there. Get the initial pick. Yeah, now it's a 5v4. It's uh Oh, it's now 4v2. Now, St. Clair has the upper hand right now. Obviously, like, their uh, kill, Killjoy has 12 HP, but I'm pretty sure Sage might be able to heal them off in uh, 30 seconds or so because they already healed someone. Yeah, it seems, uh, I'm not 
sure if the Viper ult being on is a glitch or not. I don't believe it. Yeah, the Viper shouldn't have her ult and pistol around. Um, however, two players from Carlton on the retake here. JRC finds one. He knows where the other guy is. He's holding this angle. Tosses in the nade. Casper able to pick him off. And that is going to be first round on attack for St. Clair. Four to nine. Not the worst spot to be in if you're St. Clair on attack. They can, they can always be 0 to 12, you know? It, it, <laughs> exactly. It, it only gets better from now. I mean, it can't, it can't get any worse. Like, they can always improve. The, you, improvement is always something that you, you're always looking for, especially in a, uh, in a team. You always yeah. want to find that synergy, like, you know? Yeah, ex exactly. And we are seeing that synergy kind of start to come back out. Because on the defense side, they weren't really using these options to trade out. But we just saw there, you know, St. Clair able to trade out. Uh, you know, they're, they're using the intel that the rest of their team is like trading their lives for, really. JRC able to find one right off the bat. Moves going to find the shorty kill on Blossom. A second shorty kill on VK. And JRC going to take him out. Rift Season takes out JRC. Casper takes out Sage. And now it's a 1v2. Uh... KJ versus uh, KJ and Asha versus Sage. We'll see now what they do. Sage has full HP with a Spectre. I believe they also will be having Spectres and Shorties. As One well. enemy Wombat remaining. Down mid. Wombat able to find Danny. Oh, Jacklorf was on the same side though. Able to pick up the Thrifty and gonna grab a Spectre there for next round. Area pretty well myself. Yeah, they sure they're gonna be saving this uh, round two. Uh. Yeah, Carlton will be saving this round because they I now already have their guns and they know that the uh, St. Clair uh, went on full buy on last round. So they know that they don't need to buy anything because yeah. the other team is just going to be on yeah, equal round. Yeah, most likely we're going to see rifles and stuff come out from, from Carlton because they do have the money for it. It is third round. You might as well. Um, however, Casper, he's going to be holding the... He's lone wolfing it here on B. <laughs> Oh, going to be taken out by Rubski through the one way. Casper goes down. It's left with four St. Clair players on A. They're kind of choked up here in this uh, in this A main spot. Oh, B can just barely sees one of them. They know they've got the Odin. They can't really peek it in the situation they're in. They're just going to rotate out. Yeah, it looks like to be the best option, especially that they're holding that with, like you said, um, the Odin. It's it's gonna be very difficult to go through that. Oh, Vikan gets the headshot on the Odin player with 32 HP. Now it's a 4v4, 3v4. Jacklorf able to take Vikan out a main as he tries to rotate out. We see Blossom is still hiding in this corner here with the with the bomb as JRC and Wombat are gonna move towards mid. They're gonna peg down in this mid area. Um, utility on both sides of them. No sight line. JRC health gonna come back after walking through that wall. Wombat's pinging something. They want to move B, but Blossom is A. Now he could be moving through ropes here, or Saint Clair could kind of switch down. around here and go to A. Oh, Spike, Spike down is down. A. Heaven has moved. Finds Womb. Move find Blossom. Riv season gonna find Wombat, and it's just JRC left with his Deagle. Yeah, it's a it's a one v four right now, and he and. <laughs> Carlton just takes the win, eleven to four. They're not playing. They they they're like, no, we we joined this. We're, we're gonna win this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now the question is, so we are gonna see buys here from St. Clair. So if St. Clair goes down this round, it's gonna be match point and no money on their side. Uh, we 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 have seen it before. We've seen that eco rounds are strong. Uh, but I mean, it's not the spot you want to be in. They're forced to buy here, basically, because they, they need to try and close the gap. Um, but it will really be a detriment next round if anything happens. b can immediately going to move through. Going to be taken out by Moots. Super aggressive plays by Moots here, picking up three. Jacklorf going to take out Casper in the end. And it's just Blossom left in a 1v4. b Soldier Utility come out. Rift Season going to take him out. Super quick round there. All of them mowed down on A main. And that is going to be match point for Carleton University. This yeah, is tournament point for St. Clair. I mean, uh, single elimination. They're going to be out of the tournament after this game. Should they lose this match point round? Uh, going to see what the weaponry is looking like on St. Clair here. We've got a Bulldog and a Vandal. No armor from Casper. Just straight to the Vandal. 
Vcan able to find a Phantom and some Light Armor. Uh, and we're seeing Spectres from the rest of the team here. So, oh, Casper actually switched into a Bulldog and Heavy Armor. Probably a smarter bet, um, considering all the chip damage they have here. Um, the armor will definitely pay more dividends. Obscuring vision. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, th that just that uh, from the uh, hundred to hundred and fifty or hundred and twenty-five is very big difference. Yeah, especially sure. when it comes to walking through uh, the Viper Wall, you're at least gonna have something to just give off and then maybe like and then receive it at the end. But yeah. you'll still be at hundred HP or so. Exactly, you're you're still around not a hundred mark when you walk through that Viper Wall, rather than being like basically one body shot. Um, we're gonna see a couple St. Clair players moving up through heaven. Casper gonna take some damage as he tries to get the flash out. Oh, but the Molly and the utility from the Astra and Viper, it's just it's too much to compete with. They're taking too much damage. Okay, they're forced to move out. JRC sitting here in vents as Wombat and Vcan just kinda... They're slowly creeping in on this smoke mailroom. Yeah, it's it's very difficult, especially now that they're they're just cornered mid because they don't know if there's someone going maybe flanking them from B, and there's people like in heaven of uh, uh, B, and uh, also there's people like on A by ramp or sorry ropes. And it's very difficult getting out of a situation like that. But JRC finds a kill with his alt, and Rupski gets uh, kills uh, Vcan and uh, one back kills uh, Jakob. One left. player left. One v one. Seven seconds left. Six, five. Is he able to get the spike down? He gets the plant off. It's just Viper left, and Blossom able to pick up the kill and keep Saint Clair in the tournament. You can see the players are all hyped down there. They're just like, finally, let's go. This is this is this is what's gonna get us jump boosted. This is this this is what's gonna get us started to getting this you know reverse sweep. You know, exactly. it's just. They've got some, they've got nicer weaponry coming out, although light armor on three players here. Uh, not exactly what you want to see, but they're going to be putting up a fight here. As we can, as we saw from last round, St. Clair is not going down without putting up a fight. Yeah, I mean, even, even if you're buying, uh, what's it called? Uh, Phantom or a Vandal, as long as, as long as you have shields, you know, it, do, it doesn't really matter if it's 25 or 100 or sorry, or 50. It's, it always is to that one decimal you know yeah exactly and even even if you're getting one shot by a phantom or a vandal even if the vandal's only doing 140 you're still you're still basically dead uh danny able to find one while casper finds the other wombat and he uses res on v can 5v4 here for saint Clair. KJ and uses his alt up in uh, ramps. Yeah. Looks like that uh, Sage and uh, KJ are also going to be going up there trying to shut it down, but uh, they're going to get blocked by Viper and the wall. Viper takes out Vcan. Wombat got hit by the Detain again. Rubski able to pick up two off of it. Rib season picks up a third. It's just JRC left on site. JRC picks up two. They have no idea where he is. Last player oh. Standing. Barely missed that nade there, Blossom. Unfortunately, you can't shoot through that, and Rubski is going to be able to take down Blossom. That is going to be the game. That is going to be the tournament. Carleton University will be moving on. St. Clair College losing 2-0 in this series. Yeah, at, at least they always like put up a fight. It's always good to put up a fight, you know. It's always yeah. good to like even even if you don't win the game, it's like you're in it to enjoy it. If you win the game make that a bonus you know it's always good to have something like that going on in your life especially like uh with like the varsity teams and stuff like that it's always good to have you know motivation to be up and going you know yeah great to see here obviously we saw two we we really we saw three great games out of st Clair here unfortunately carlton university very strong team they were able to pick up the win 2-0 against st Clair. Uh, but I mean, St. Clair going into our regular season coming up, I, they're going to be a force to be reckoned with. I mean, their attack side is violent, and uh, I, I, I'm really, I really want to see what they pick up. I want to see any character changes they make. Uh, they like to have different comps on different maps. Yeah, no, definitely. Like uh, first, uh, first couple of uh, the first two matches, they were able to like one thirteen both of the teams, I believe. And yeah. that, that was like a huge boost for them, like a huge, huge boost. Yeah, they were definitely feeling good in there. Uh, so, unfortunately, St. Clair College uh, going to be taken out of the NACE fall brawl here after losing 2-0 to Carleton University. 
uh, great games. Uh, so we're going to be moving into our sponsors here. Uh, first off, we got Crunchyroll. Uh, get a free 14-day premium free trial, crunchyroll.com slash saints. You got to be watching anime. Come on, if you aren't, start watching anime. Uh, next up, we got Subway, Tim Hortons, the St. Clair SRC, the St. Clair College Alumni Association, and St. Clair College. Thank you to our sponsors. Uh, we've also got Saints merch. Go get yours at acquire.ca slash saints. That merch is awesome. Personally, I'm putting it in order soon, so uh, I can't wait to get mine. Yeah, same. The The merch is absolutely beautiful. It's also high quality, and it just it feels so good wearing in the morning, knowing that, you know, you, you like it. It's a good <laughs> purchase, you yeah, know? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You're supporting your team, you know, you're, you're proud of your team, uh, especially if you're watching them here. Uh, yeah, so great games coming out from St. Clair today. Uh, we should be wrapping up soon. Um, yeah, so have a good night, everyone. <laughs> I'm Josh Fundy Pafundi, joined by Donka J. Donka. And uh, thanks for watching today. Have a good one.